Hello everybody, how are we all? Doing okay, it's Wednesday, it's cold, it's proper chilly isn't it? So all of us who are thinking, yes yeah, so we'll plant out all those spring bedding plants, maybe not. So welcome everybody, we're going to get ourselves going. Uh, we're going to use, as always, our trusty chair, so make sure you've got your chair there. Of course though, you could do this whole class standing. So if you would rather work that a little bit harder or differently and want to stand, Absolutely fine, obviously change some things, but you can stand. Um, I've not got anything, any other equipment today. We're gonna, you can hear the music, kind of a chill vibe. We're gonna work on lots of mobility today and we're gonna do a little bit of warm up stuff at the end. So I will change the music at the end. So welcome, welcome. I'm gonna sit myself down. I can't see who's here yet. Facebook seems to have suddenly started doing this thing where I know you're there, I can see you're there, but I can't see any comments, can't see who's there. Suddenly it'll all come up. So hello everybody, and I'll name you in a minute when I when it sorts itself out. I don't know what it's doing. Like I said yesterday, I use these things. I don't understand how they work. So first of all, I want posture, posture, posture this morning. Gap between your back and the chair. Doesn't have to be a huge big gap, but a gap nonetheless. Straight back, tummy muscles are pulled up and in. Now, no one can pull their stomach muscles in the whole time. So what I want you to think about doing is timing your pulling in of your stomach with your breathing. So you breathe in first, so you're relaxed. When you exhale, that's when your stomach muscles come in. Inhale, relax them a bit. Exhale, pull them in. That's it. Those of you who know me so well, most of you, you know I'm going to mention the pelvic floor. So as we pull in our tummy, we're also going to draw up our pelvic floor. It is so important that we look after our pelvic floor. So take our breath in. On the exhale, tummy in, draw up your pelvic floor. Now if you don't know what I mean, brace yourselves because here it comes. Exhale. What happens with the pelvic floor? I want you to imagine that you're lying naked in a bathtub full of eels. Eels! Ah. So as you pull up that pelvic floor, imagine the eels, you're shutting all the doors, basically. You're pulling everything up and in, shut all those doors, and then releasing them. Now, now I can see who's here. We've got Veronica and Leslie Mary. <laughs> Sam. Sam. You could have shut out the window, Leslie. I'm here. Um, Linda's here. Sam's here. Welcome, everybody. Okay, so pelvic floor and if you're young and you're thinking oh my pelvic floor is not a problem wait just you wait breathe in exhale tummy in pelvic floor drawn up okay let's have a little bit of movement now inhale arms come up exhale tummy in pelvic floor lift inhale exhale now if you're finding and i know that i'm my mum i don't know if you're here mum now but we, we talked about she goes to yoga and um and pilates and if you're not careful, you can spend your whole time obsessing about your breathing and actually not thinking about the movement. So please don't worry about your breathing too much. Remember that I want you to breathe <laughs> and I would like you at some point to pull in your tummy and lift up your pelvic floor. But listen, don't stress about it, okay? Just make sure you're doing it at some point. Good, so I'm going to do a side bend next. I'm going to start with my hands on the chair. Now you don't have to have your hands on the chair. You can, of course, hi Terry, you can let your hands just hang. But that is more difficult. Those who want a little bit harder work, you could have hand weights there. But I'm not going to. Just make sure for me, you're not gonna end up rolling onto the carpet, because that would be embarrassing. So make sure you're keeping your bottom firmly glued to your chair. Two more. One more, let's go back to our breathing again. So breath in, arms come up. Exhale, tummy in, pelvic floor lift. Inhale, exhale down. So this is going to be nice and relaxing. And um, I honestly think we are all an awful lot more stressed than we think we are. Um, I think I'll, I certainly feel for myself, I don't think I'm very good at assessing actually how stressed I am. So what we're going to do in this class is we're going to try and release a little bit of that tension, even if you feel you haven't got any stress, you probably do. Um, so as you focus, don't think about anything else. Just think about your hands. Feel the movement of the arms. Notice perhaps if one of your shoulders is giving you a little bit of a niggle. 
Just be aware of what your body's telling you. Let's go to that side bend. So same thing here, over to that side. What do you feel? I feel a little twinge here. Not a twinge, a little kind of pull. I would say a pull, which is good. That means I'm stretching those muscles. And I'm keeping my mind focused on my body. I'm breathing, exhaling, inhaling. Come back up to the center. Arms up in front of you, shoulders are nice and relaxed. Don't be here, drop your shoulders. Little twist, back to the middle, little twist the other way. So just think about your body, imagine the muscles. Your dozens and dozens of muscles involved in this little movement. It's quite incredible. And as we make those muscles work, they in turn move the bones. Ligaments and tendons also get involved. So incredible amount of activity. She has to do a really simple movement, isn't it? Let's breathe in again. Exhale. Oh, that's the battery. Let's go again. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And down. Good. I'm relaxing my shoulders. I'm not grinding my teeth. No, no grimacing. No grinding of teeth. Side bend. If you want to make it a bit harder, how about your hand beside your head? Over we go, other way. And I'm lifting my elbow a little bit, but I'm making sure my bottom is staying fixed. Because if I lean too far, I am likely to end up in a heap on the floor. Good, let's do our rotation again. Arms up in front, little twist. So if you like this routine and you want to do it more, but obviously you're fed up of hearing me, <laughs> switch music, just mute it, put on your own music, and you can do the routine anytime without hearing me say the same thing over and over again. Two more. One more. Good. Let's get into these hands now. Give those hands a little shake out. So if you're a knitter or a sewer or a crocheter, you'll probably get very good strong hands. But if you don't do a lot of that, the hands can get a little bit um, slow, sort of a bit lethargic almost. So I want you to put your hands together in a prayer position. Bring them down, so they're kind of between your, I'd say your chest bone, though I'm being polite, but you know where they are. Okay, big breath in. On the exhale, bring them up so they're just going past your nose. Bring them down again. Now what I want you to do, as you're doing this everybody, is push your hands together. Push them together. Now release a bit and push them together again. Push, release as they come up, push again. So we're working on our wrist strength. And again, that's something, unless you do an awful lot of crafty stuff, maybe a lot of um, physical work, our wrists can get quite weak. Bring those hands down in front. I want you just to point them at me and bring them back. So if I show you sideways, point them forwards, bring them back. And I'm still pressing my hands together. Now this is lovely chest work. Arms, you can see my muscles are bulging. My arms are working. Little push, back. Can you take them a bit further? Ooh, bring them back. So rotating round. As always, as with all my classes, if you are getting a sharp pain, stop. Don't bathe, grind your teeth and carry on. Two more. One more. How are those wrists feeling? Oh, ho, ho. yeah, shake them out. So quite hard for those wrists. Give them a little shake out. Rotate round. Give those fingers a little sort of star, starburst. That's it. Shake them. Good. Shoulders next. Hands on your shoulder. I've got my thumb just resting on my shoulder. And I'm going to rotate. Now I'm letting my upper body move. So let it move round. And stretching and mobility. You know, honestly, if you're struggling in the morning, do a 5-10 minute mobility warm up. This one's perfect to get your body going. I think we all you know, we expect to leap out of bed. And why should we? Our poor body's been lying in one position all night. It's probably seized up a bit. And this is great. I can hear my shoulder clonking and feel it. It's not hurting. That's fine. Back to that first arm again, reverse direction. 
Don't knock your elbow on your chair because you're cursed. Round we go. I'm trying to paint a big circle with my elbow. Other arm, round we go. And I'm letting my chest move, but I am pulling in my tummy. Round we go. Good, give those arms a shake out. Hands up in front, palms facing palms. Breathe in. Now bring your arms back and down, thumbs uppermost. Open your chest. Oh, that's a big stretch. Bring those hands back up. Now do the thumbs down. So you can see what I did. I turn my hands towards each other. Palms back, open. Good. Bring them back up. Thumbs up again. Back to go. And a little stretching routine. My other half, he does a stretch routine every day in the mornings now. And that's mainly because he kept moaning about aching and I was getting sick of it. But he just decided to do a little routine every day. It's really helped his mobility in the mornings. Hands up, one arm comes out wide. I do it in class, so I don't really need to. But if I wasn't doing classes, I would. I wake up really stiff. And this kind of movement is super, opens things up. Now next time, when your arm goes out, watch it, so let your head go. Good, and the same thing, let the head go. Ooh. Can we feel some movement? Good, one more. Excellent, give your arms a shake out. Good for those people who did this first class as well. Okay, we're gonna to go to our torso now. So I'm gonna just turn my chair so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna shuffle forward slightly, but my feet are nice and wide. Breathe in. Tuck your chin, curl your back until it touches the chair. Oh, bring them up. Exhale, back we go. Push the back into the chair, up you come. I love this one because you get into your hips, you get into the spine. You could do this in the morning. So when you swing your legs out of bed, sit on, your, on the bed and do a few of these before you start your day. Let's add into it. So as you rise, let's bring those arms high. Oh, good one. So tuck the chin, lift up. You can look up and slightly lean backwards. Only a smidgen, only a smidgen. Back you go. Up you come. Oh, do you know this is lovely. Really feeling everything getting moving. Two more. One more. Good stuff. Shake everything out. Okay, we're going to do a few more um, lean back type ones. We're going to add some arms to chest. Now, if you've got hand weights, you could use them across your chest as well. Those who want to make these even harder, what you can do is sit that way in your chair. So when you go back, you can go back much further, you could hold the chair. Please don't do a backward roll off onto, into your garden. That wouldn't be great. Okay, breath in. Tuck your chin, back you go. Come high, now listen. We're going to have a little lean forward and back. Really small. Tuck your chin. Up you come. Reach. Little lean forward. Now those of you who want to add a bigger lean forward, you can, but be careful. Tummy on. Because I can feel that's tough. That's hard work. Up you come. Arm high. Lean forward. Good work, everybody. Last one. Exhale. This is an abdominal workout as well as mobility and strength. Fantastic. Well done. Bring yourselves back around so you're facing me. Because I'm still up for my drink. If you've got your drink there, buy me coffee. Last little bit before we go for the upbeat, we're just going to mobilise our hips and knees. So, nice and tall, hands resting on thighs. Straighten your leg, bring it back. Good, so I'm staying tall. Have you still got that gap behind your back? Good, nice little lift. Next time, instead of the leg lift, we're going to just pop the leg slightly to the side 
bring it back, other leg. So getting into those hips. I know for some of us it's really uncomfortable. For some of us the leg doesn't want to help, it doesn't want to do much. Move it a tiny bit, that's absolutely fine. Two more, one more. And let's do the leg extensions again, up they come. And then leg to the side. Good. Leg extension, leg extension, leg to the side. Fabulous, well done. So we've done most of everything. I'm now going to change the, view, the, the vibe, change the music, and we're going to do a little bit of fast stuff to finish ourselves off. Just in case anyone out there was snoozing. Anyone have your sleep? No, of course you're not. So let's get something up. Oh, what should we have? Ooh, let's have, let's have, let's have, I know, that one. Right. Here we go. Okay. So I might have to shout a bit now. Right, everybody. Are you with me? Yes. Okay, forward in your chair. Knees, knees, bent, feet flat on the floor. Give me a mark. Okay, we're gonna get warm. We may get slightly tired. You could use your hand weights now if you want to. That's it, keep those legs moving. We're gonna heel dig. Here we go, slow, slow. Two more slow ones. Now we're gonna do some quick ones. Quick. That's it. Back to our march. March. Now, when you're I want to see if you can do a clap routine for me. We're going to go. Can we do it? Clap, 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 clap. How's the stress? Heel dig, slow. Whoa. That was more complicated than I intended, but we'll get it. Quick heels, here we go, heel. Slow heel. Quick heel. We're gonna do the clapping without the marching. Here we go. Quick heels. Quick heels. 
ready to march. Let's march. Whoa, we're nearly there, everybody. Do you remember the arms crossing? Here we go.